Who's this a statue of? It seems to be a statue of Saint Veronica. Oh, you know of her? The street seems kind of different from the others. This is Artisan Street, where craftsmen and merchants ply their trades.
I love the look of this city. It's so beautiful. Maybe so, but it's got nothing on Heimdall in terms of sheer scale.
That bridge above us looks like it dates back to the Middle Ages. It is. It's been there for several hundred years. Looks like quite an old road, though it does seem well reinforced. Yep, looks like a lot of armored vehicles come this way. <sighs> I didn't notice there was a path here. The monster we're looking for should be just ahead. This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. I'll handle it. My turn! My turn. As you please, gather on my blade! Strike! My turn. Right! 
attack. My turn. <laughs> Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. That was rough. Yeah, but we still won. Only just. What the hell is wrong with you, Eustace Alborea? Why did you sever the link? Don't even think of trying to place the blame on me, Machius Regnitz. You were the one who severed the link. You said you'd cooperate, but you just couldn't do it, could you? You couldn't bring yourself to stoop to the same level as a commoner like me! You nobles truly are beyond redemption! You're utterly hopeless, through and through! <clears throat> you asinine little... Why can't you see that all of this is born from your own prejudice and narrow-mindedness? That's enough! Please, calm down! Stay out of this! This is our problem! Why don't we settle this once and for all? Let me show you how much better than you I really am. <clears throat> <gasps> Uh, rain. There we go. <sighs> nice work. Rain, are you all right? Hey, are you injured? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. I was so sure we'd killed it, though. Guess I shouldn't have let my guard down. I shouldn't have either. But it's down for good this time. <clears throat> I should administer first aid on that scratch. I'll need you to take off your jacket. Mm, that feels much better. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm happy I was able to put what we learned from instructor Beatrix's classes to good use. That was last week, right? I'm sorry, Rena. It's our fault that you were injured. Oh, don't worry about it. It wouldn't have happened if I'd been paying more attention. I'm just glad neither of you were hurt. Why are you so... You should rest that shoulder for a while. Yes, absolutely. I'd strongly recommend you fall back from the front line for the time being. Thanks. I will. All right, let's get moving. We need to tell the Provincial Army about the monster we just defeated. Yeah. I suppose it's not a done deal until we file our report. Our Ox Fort isn't much farther across the canyon. We may need to hurry if we wish to be back in Berea Hard before nightfall, however. Let's go. Hey, Reen? Huh? What is it? Uh, I just... Look so and curie aeum. What? What did you just... Nothing. I just wanted to check on your bandage. Good, good. It seems fine. But please, try your best to keep your shoulder firm. The less it moves, the better. We don't want your injury getting worse now. Uh, okay. I could swear I felt something... Warm flowing into my body. Maybe I'm. That strange glow is...
Don't let it intimidate you. Yeah. yeah. Leave it to me. Eat that. Very well. Neutralized. Guess we're safe. Making progress. <laughs> I did it. That should suffice. Done. Great. What is that bizarre creature? This one looks dangerous. Be careful! Okay. Rise, great towers! Very well. <laughs> How pathetic. Making progress. A plus outcome. That should suffice. Done. I did it. This might actually be a challenge. Good. Very well. I'll handle it. Yeah. yeah. It's my turn. Eat that. Okay. I'll handle this. My turn. One, two. Yeah. Got it. Let's get this over with. I'll handle this. Mission complete. I feel like I'm 
you going stronger. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> a matter of course. Done. I did it. So shiny. What is it? This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Okay. Here. Right. My turn. My turn. You outdo me on the battlefield. <laughs> How else would we motivate you? Making progress. An A plus outcome. That should suffice. Done. I did it. Is that bizarre creature? Huh. Huh. Eat that. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. It's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Huh. Got it. There. It's over. Right. Very well. Okay. It's my turn. Okay. Right. My turn. We can't relax yet. I feel like I'm going stronger. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> A matter of course. Done. Right. What is that glowing creature? This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. I'll handle it. My turn. 
That should suffice. Success! I did it! What is that glowing creature? This might actually be a challenge. Good. Okay. Lines, great towers. Rest in peace. My turn. neutralized. Guess we're safe. Making progress. An A plus outcome. <laughs> A matter of course. Success. Great. What is that bizarre creature? Eat that! This might actually be a challenge. Good! It's my turn! Hardly a challenge. Making progress. An A plus outcome. That should suffice. Success. Great. <laughs> what is that glowing creature? This might actually be a challenge. Good. Okay. Here. This is it. I need everyone's help. 
Leave it to I'll me. Never miss. Making progress! An A-plus outcome. That should suffice. Success! I did it! So shiny. What is it? This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Very well. My turn. My turn. It's my turn. Here. Leave it to me. That takes care of them. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> A matter of course. Done. Right! This might actually be a challenge. Good. Yeah. yeah. Leave it to me. Go. I'll help you. My turn. I'll handle it. Okay. Got it. There. Okay. Here. It's my turn. Eat that. I'll handle this. What a waste of time. Let's go. Making progress. An A plus outcome. <laughs> a matter of course. Success. Great! Oh, I wonder what that strange glow is. <laughs> this one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Okay! Making progress! An A-plus outcome. <laughs> A matter of course. Done.
What is that bizarre creature? Eat that! Don't let it intimidate you! It's my turn! My turn. Leave it to me. Okay. Here. <laughs> Let's keep going. Making progress. <laughs> I did it. A matter of course. Success. Very well. My turn. Yeah. Dangerous foe. Stay on guard.
One of the Croix not they modified an older fort. A lot. Something wrong, Yusis? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Uh, how? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... Ah! He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. Who goes there? Wait. We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf, and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. We just... <laughs> um, so, we were able to defeat. Do you require a written report, or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes? It wasn't easy, but we huh. Not bad. Not bad at all. We 
probably should have taken care of it. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. Returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eustace. Wow. <laughs> I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. The army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Yes, some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. Wait. What is the meaning of this? Machius? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. 
But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machius. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Berehard. Yeah. Let's go then. Monster seems dangerous. Be careful.
Enemy sighted. Take go. Huh. Yeah. Here. Leave it to me. Eat that. That takes care of them. back. <sighs> My feet are killing me. Breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious too.
Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is... Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm. Yes, for a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last- I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. Huh? And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks. Mm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day. Besides... Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most, and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So, you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides... Oh, the travails of youth! 
It's you. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. Ha <laughs> ha! It's such an honor that you would remember a mere Baron. I see you completed a hard. Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be bl The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles. Yet that. Well, I hope. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware. I don't condemn him. For it though, for oh, would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end. Be it the lovely luster of success or the sad splendor of failure. does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilled. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even is that he knew we only have one day left here. You're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object? We've been crossing paths with a lot of strange... Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then.
<sighs> Can't get to sleep? I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along. Has he... all As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for his son. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife. A noble... My own mother, however, was a commoner. And she passed away eight years ago. In other words... I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle. On my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to tr- No. I can't- I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's- I suppose you're right. I'm- I'm sure you have your differences. But you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly.
There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of- I... am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trapdoor opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. There wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness, but to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even... <laughs> I, uh... Don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you. Well, I owed you as much for having seen. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your reputation, that selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance, after all. I know it can. And you're not the first person. What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree. It wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Eusis. Pleasant dreams. You're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Keep up the good work.
Eusis Alborea. What is it, Machias Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? Nonsense! I did no such thing! I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Duh. Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link... <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Lord Eusus. Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could... However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course, however, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we... I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... Uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Ha! Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Eusis any further re- Huh, certainly not. Still... What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. 
She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. Just stop that! Just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Green, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma! I hope you're ready to score second on our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again! But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best! I intend to best you when you're in top form! <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education! You need to start treating classes more seriously! Listen, take proper notes, raise your hand now and then! And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you! I can't hear you! <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right.
This one looks dangerous. Be careful! My turn! Second form! Damn! Neutralized. Guess we're safe.
Just the kind of thing you'd expect in an old ruin like this. Do you think it's powered by the water flowing through here? certainly didn't expect to encounter the three of you down here. What? Is that... Yusis? I'm so glad you're safe. Of course I am. Though I can't say I was expecting to be placed under house arrest the moment I returned to the mansion. So that's what happened. You know what's going on? Unfortunately. Arresting the Imperial Governor's son under a false charge in order to keep the reformist faction under control. I find it hard to believe my father would attempt something so brazen. He didn't have any intention of talking to me. Not the slightest inclination. This was... <gasps> Use this. Enough about me. Thanks to my brother, I'm familiar with the general layout of this waterway. I'll lead us to the guardhouse. Let's get moving. You're actually... You were planning on saving him even if you had to do it alone, weren't you? Nothing like last month's field study. Don't get the wrong idea. I just can't condone my father's actions. Besides, he's no doubt huddled up, crying and lonely in the corner of his cell right now. It's worth rescuing him just to see that. <sighs> All right, let's get moving. The entrance to the guardhouse is to the west. We should hurry.
just another lattice door. There should be a mechanism to open it somewhere nearby. overcome fee what do you mean stand back what are you doing I know this smell explain yourself please ignition What? Done. D done? Fee, did you? Was that a bomb? Portable high powered explosive. Plasticity makes it handy for this kind of espionage work. E explosive? Where could you possibly have gotten such a thing? I think at this point we have a right to know. What exactly is your background? R reen The day of the entrance ceremony, I saw you dodging that trap floor the rest of us fell into. You're two years younger than us, yet you're physically no weaker at all. In fact, I'd say when it comes to combat situations, you seem almost like you're holding back. Impossible. Guess you got me. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. That's where I learned how to handle explosives and use my gun swords. That's all. A Jaeger? I wasn't expecting that. I've heard that term before. The best of the best mercenary outfits are known as Jaeger. Jaeger cores are almost synonymous with the Grim Reaper. Do you think I'd be going to school with a Jaeger? Reaper? No, that's... that's... That... I spoke out of turn. I mustn't let prejudices get the better of me. That's right. Knowing... Thanks for telling us, Fee. And I'm sorry for... Not bothered. But we should hurry if we want to save Mach. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's press onward. like the place looks like an underground prison all right indeed it must be here somewhere am i hearing things machius and still in one piece by the sound of it what are you all doing here there's no way the provincial army would just let me go you didn't sneak in did you we came in through the underground waterway i'll open the cell going to what the <laughs> we'll ex 
explain when we have more time. Yeah, right now we need to get away from here before we're caught. As long as we can make it back to the city, we should be able to bluff our way out of any further trouble. Right. Thanks. I'd resign myself to being stuck in there for a while. I must admit, though, I'm surprised you of all people would come to my aid. <laughs> I only came to get a glimpse at your tear-stained face. Plus, I thought this might be a good opportunity to pay back my father. I see. What? Voices? As much as I would love to praise you for a job well done, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take a short rest. What? <sighs> Let's clean house! Roger that. Right! Very well, I will serve as your opponent. My turn. <laughs> My turn! My turn. I'll handle it. <laughs> Done. But we can't relax yet. been so careless this would never have happened there wasn't much he could have done <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right Two of them. And fast. Hurry. Great. Yeah. This is the worst day ever.
We're surrounded. You're very... What? No. Your family's army employs monsters like this? No one ever told me. They aren't going to let us past, are they? <laughs> They're smart beasts. So we'll just have to take him down. Indeed. Bad dogs require stern discipline. Time to wrap up this month's field study. Class 7, Group A. Commence attack on the targets! Alright. Don't let it intimidate! My turn! Azure Flames, gather on my blade! Handle this. Oh, no, you don't. I'll handle this. Activate! Go! Let's keep moving. Did it. That was tough. Uh, I thought we were done for. <laughs> I have no intention of letting filthy beasts get the better of me. Train. Honestly, now, this is no laughing matter, you know. <laughs> Look who's talking. You're grinning like an idiot. Not as much as you are. There they go. I don't think we could have wrapped this month's field study up more perfectly if we tried. We were all able to form combat links with one another, too. We're not through the woods just yet, it would seem. <sighs> Looks like the 
the end of the road. You've pushed your luck one step too far this time. Are you that desperate to be thrown in a cell with regnets? If you want to arrest us, go right ahead. Lord Eusis! What are you doing here? I thought you'd been locked in the mansion. I chose to return to my studies. Well, what's it to be? Accusing my classmates of this crime will implicate me as well. We... We, we couldn't possibly point our rifles at Lord Eusis. Silence! Not even Lord Eusis has the right to trespass in a military facility, much less to release a suspect in our custody, directly opposing the orders of His Grace the Duke. Enough! We may not be the best of friends, but I am Eusis Alvarea. I will not simply stand by and watch as one of my classmates is arrested under false charges and used in a tool in some political war. Lord Eusis. Eusis? <laughs> we have our orders, and nothing you say will change that. Disarm them, men, Lord Eusis included. That will not be necessary. What? Impossible. Lord Rufus? <gasps> Lord Rufus? We'd heard you were in the capital. How? Why are you... I received a message from the Academy at noon today, and I returned by airship as quickly as I could. With your instructor. What? Looks like you've all done a fine job. Instructor Sarah? What are you doing here? I've been filled in on the circumstances, more or less. I'll take care of matters here. You all return to your post- But, Lord Rufus, with, with all due respect- I've already informed my father. Or do you intend to embarrass me beyond your other transgressions? No, of course not! Second company, withdraw! Sir! Please, excuse us. Oh my. Well, you can tell they're well trained, if nothing else. The Provincial Army takes its training very seriously, of course. Though I resent the mere notion that it could be misused so grievously. I'm sure you do. So, what brings you here, Instructor? Seriously, why are you here? Your timing is a little too convenient. Did you come after receiving word from the Provincial Army? Nope. I actually heard about what was happening a little earlier from a friend of mine. As soon as the news reached my ears, I shot to my feet and got right in contact with the director here. And he was kind enough to give me a ride on his airship back from the capital. I don't know what to say. Honestly, you seem to be prepared for virtually everything. Uh, wait a second. Director? You don't know yet, do you? I also serve as a permanent member of the Academy's Board of Directors. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to meet again in that capacity. The Board of Directors? Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? <laughs> I decided to keep it a secret so I could see the look on your face when you found out. I'm not the only member of the Board, though, of course. I'm simply one of three permanent members. That explains why you knew so much about Class 7. Way too well prepared. Still, I had no idea my father would attempt something so foolish while I was away. He's always been an obstinate man, but he's simply gone too far this time. As a member of the Academy's board, I cannot remotely condone the unlawful arrest of a student. Rufus, thank you for your concern.
So that's class seven, eh? A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see now why you're so fixated on them, Sarah. And... Rufus Alborea. I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but... What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in the morning? Is that what you were about to ask? Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I'm but a low-ranking noble. I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of, much like yourself. Really, now? You'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy-sounding stage name or anything, would you? Ha <laughs> ha! You'll just have to find that out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent young couple from a foreign land, though, would they? You'll just have to find that out on your own. Indeed. Well, if you'll please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. May we meet again, young Bracer. Do give my regards to the Purple Lightning, if you would. <sighs> As if the situation weren't messy enough, it seems we've got another source of trouble on our hands now. I'd better let the others know, just in case. <sighs> and you call yourselves teenagers. Unlike me, you actually get to go to sleep every night. You should be full of energy by this point in the day. <sighs> Give me a break. Considering all that end, I think we can be forgiven for being a little tired. Well, that's certainly true enough. Group B had their fair share of problems to deal with as well, but they weren't quite as serious as yours. Although they were of a similar nature. What do you mean exactly? Did they also wind up getting involved in a conflict between the two factions? More or less. St. Ark is another territory belonging to one of the four great houses, after all. So they got themselves caught up in a bit of trouble. The four of them managed to get through it together in the end, though. Well, that's good. <sighs> that's a relief, yeah. But, Sarah... Just what kind of mirror did they pour into buffing up Orox Fort anyway? What we saw was nuts. So I've heard. And the Provincial Army isn't the only force trying to improve its armaments. The Imperial Army is doing the same, with the Blood and Iron Chancellor and his 20 armored divisions squarely at the center. Really? <laughs> how should the Military Academy... How should we act in a situation like this? Thor's graduates join both the Provincial and Imperial armies, right? That's nothing you need to be worrying about. Not right now, at least. You're at the Academy to learn. That's all you should be focusing on. While you're there, it's true that you may be forced to acknowledge some of the more unpleasant realities of Erebonia. But I believe there's something special to be gained from that. Something you can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as you're together with your friends and classmates. People for whom there is no substitute. Uh, uh... Maybe when you graduate and go out into the world, much of what you've learned at Thor's will have little meaning. But I still truly believe that sometime, somehow, what you experience as part of Class 7 will be an invaluable treasure to you. It may not seem that way now, but I... Instructor. <laughs> you almost had me there for a moment. That was the last thing I ever thought I'd hear from you. Hey! What's with all the laughing? I, I, I'm really sorry. You, your words were quite touching, but... Coming out of your mouth, they were just... Painfully droll. Something we can only gain now, at this moment in time. 
so long as we're with our friends and classmates, for whom there is no substitute. <laughs> Stop that! Are you trying to kill me? You kids are awful. I was being serious, you know. Why must this instructor thing be so difficult sometimes? Someday. <laughs> Good showing, everyone. It was the middle of June. With summer well underway, a rainy spell seemed to hang over Trista. With our field study wrapped up, the other members of Class 7 and I returned to normal school life. But just when we thought we'd gotten used to the challenging lessons and the breakneck workload, a moment of dread washed over us. As you all know, tomorrow marks the start of your midterm exams. I'm no good with all these papers and essays and circling answers, so I won't really be able to help you much. But I'm administering some of your tests, so I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Make me proud, class! Sometimes I lie awake at night and wonder how you became our teacher. As I recall, aren't you in danger of a lecture by the vice principal if our performance isn't up to par? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. Most of you tend to get pretty high grades anyway. I can hardly wait to see how well you all do. Remember, the results will be announced next Wednesday. Your scores will be posted on the board by rank, so you can see how you compare to the other classes in your year. Oh, the sooner this week is over, the better. I can almost taste the tedium. I'm not gonna let Emma squeak by me again this time. <laughs> oh, one more thing. They're gonna stick the average score for each class up there on the board, too. Our class averages? I suppose their intent is to furnish us with motivation in the form of class bragging rights. 
Well, I do enjoy a challenge. Anyway, I know it's only noonish, but I think that's enough homeroom for today. You guys can stay here and study, or just head on back to your dorms. Up to you. Prez, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. Stand, bow.
Excuse me. I do apologize for stopping you on a rainy day like this. This is the building in which I might find the principal's office. Oh, yeah, you're in the right place. His office is in the east wing, first floor. The receptionist might have gone home already, but I can show you the way if you'd like. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. But I couldn't possibly trouble you more than I have already. I'll be able to find the way, I'm sure. Well then, if you'll excuse me, Master Reen. Wait a minute. How does she know who I am? Reen? Ah, oh, hey there, Elisa. Heading back to the dorm? are staying a little longer to cram a little more. But I figured I'm not going to learn much more today, so I might as well call it a night and start prepping for tomorrow. Right, right. Um, well, you're going my way, so what do you say we head back together? Sure, okay. the two of us get to walk back to the dorms together, is it? <laughs> well, eh, at least I got something good out of this downpour. Is there even a filter between your brain and your mouth? Ah, no need for that between friends. But you're in good company. My sister's asked me that before, too. <sighs> she must be a saint to have put up with you. <laughs> All prepped and ready for our exams? Not sure. I gave it the best I've got. Still, I've got that nagging. <laughs> uh, I wish I was as smart as you. Back when we took the entrance exam, only Emma and Machia scored higher than you, right? 
uses came in a little higher than me too. Back home, I usually came in near the top in exams. I guess that goes to show that Erebonia has no shortage of smart people. doubt about that. Bookworms pour in here from all corners of the Empire. You said you're from Ruhr, right? Coming out on top in a city that size is still pretty impressive. I suppose, though that was just at the Sunday school level. about, you know, my family and stuff. You mean the mysterious Alisa R, agent of national intrigue? Well, yeah, of course I am. But you probably have good reason. It's not that major or anything. Especially compared to what you and Fee have told us about yourselves. I've never really thought my family circumstances were a big deal. But I wonder now, when I look at her, what her life in a Jaeger court... It seems like Instructor Sarah knows more about her past than we do. Back at the entrance ceremony, I got the impression they'd met before. Same. Oh, speaking of weird meetings, I ran into someone kind of strange earlier. to her just before you called to me. A maid who knew your name? This isn't the part where it turns out she knows you because you've tried to hit on her in town before, is it? <laughs> As if an upstanding guy like me could pull off the Casanova act. She seemed a couple years older than us. Maybe 20 or so? A maid in her early 20s. Hmm? Something wrong? No, no, just thinking. There's no way. Mother keeps her far too busy to find... Uh. Ahem! Uh, anyway, maybe the uh, upper-class dorm has a new hire starting out or something? Though that wouldn't explain how she knew your name. Maybe you're just more popular than you let on. <laughs> if only.
Exams are over. I feel free as a bird, and I'll keep on soaring at least until the results come back. <laughs> I sympathize, but personally, I've got a good feeling about these. How about you, Emma? How do you think you did? Well, I don't think I did too badly, all things considered. Mm -hmm. Just, just stop before you embarrass yourself. We'll just have to wait and see what next week's results look like. Anyway. What do you think that was all about with Instructor Sarah? Oh, you mean that whole thing about going out of town to meet someone? Going out of town? Won't be back until tomorrow night? It's almost as if... She's going to meet her secret lover? Impossible. The Empire hasn't yet turned out a man desperate enough to woo that alcoholic typhoon. You have a point. I can't deny she's got the looks to snare a man, but... That personality and that lifestyle. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agreed, though. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Reen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after pulling up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah. I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Come to think of it, where did Gaius run off to? He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. He and Laura left early, too. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really? So you think so too? It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You say that. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so... I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. 
do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. How oh, now? Getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not going to twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just... If everyone knew, it didn't make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Huh? W what? Sh Sharon? It's so delightful to see you again. Oh, hey. Is that you know her? She did it. Mother didn't. <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household, Lady Elisa's family. I will do all I can to be of service to you, so please keep me informed of anything you might need. Simply spectacular. Just how many different types of food are there here? This looks... more than edible. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast? That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself. Thank you very much. Oh, fine. I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She stuck her nose into things one too many times. 
believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman, too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. Th that's preposterous! Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Stop treating me like a child. Though, yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number.
We should proceed onward. What is that bizarre creature? This one looks dangerous. Be careful! My turn! Very well. The eight leaves. I feel like I'm going stronger. <laughs> A matter of course. Done. <laughs> I did it. Just getting started. Creature. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. My turn. Here I go. Yeah. Got it. Let's get this over with. Leave it to Leave me. I'll handle this. Mission complete. That should suffice. Done. <laughs> I did it! I'm just getting started. <laughs> what is that glowing creature? <laughs> this one looks dangerous. Be careful! I'll handle it. Here I go. Got it. I'll help. Go. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Broken. My turn. I'll handle it. My turn! I'll handle it. Oh no, you don't! Okay! This is it! Broken! <laughs> we did it, V! Thanks for the backup.
making progress. <laughs> A matter of course. Done. <laughs> I did it! I'm just getting started. What is that glowing creature? This one's dangerous. My turn! Second form! Damn! Go! There! Very well. I'll handle it. My turn. My turn. Second form. Damn. Go. There. You're finished. I wouldn't expect anything less. You're not half bad yourself. Making progress. <laughs> A matter of course. Done. An A plus outcome. I'm just getting started. Here we go! Okay! Gleaming Blade! Go! My turn! Be gone! Ha! My turn! Second form, damn! Let's keep moving. Making progress. That should suffice. Success. An A plus outcome. I'm just getting started.
I'm going stronger. That should suffice. Done. An A plus outcome. I'm just getting started. So shiny. <laughs> this one looks dangerous. Be careful. My turn. Second form, Gale! Go! Let's go, everyone! I'll handle this. This is our real power! Making progress. <laughs> A matter of course. Success. <laughs> I did it. We're just getting started. <laughs> what is that glowing creature? <laughs> this might actually be a challenge. Here we go. Second form, Gale! Go! There! You're finished! Okay. My turn. <laughs> now! Go! You're dead. Okay. My turn. I'll handle Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Making progress. That should suffice. Success. An A plus outcome. I'm just getting started. This one's dangerous. Stay on your toes. Here we go! Second form, Gale! Go! There! You're finished! Yeah! Ugh. Now! Broken. My turn. My turn. My turn! Get back! I'll handle it. Okay! Too slow! My turn. I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. Making progress. That should suffice. Success. An A plus outcome. Nice. <laughs> what is that bizarre creature? <laughs> this might actually be a challenge. Good. I'll handle it. Here we go. That should suffice. 
success. <laughs> I did it. I'm just getting started. There's more. Stay alert. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. the end.
one looks dangerous. Be careful! My turn. As your plates, gather on my blade! Turn. Neutralized. Guess we're safe.
green. Did you just get back to? Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. Excellent. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? it did. As if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. But I'm afraid all the details might be more than you could handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor innocent heart. Yeah. I almost want to believe it, but yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. Welcome back, Master Reen. Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. Good to see you. You can stop at the Master Reen stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the maid's code of honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like my dearest Reen? Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you courtesy of... I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. The pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. This feels like a good time to make my exit. Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own studies. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother. Elise Schwarzer.
You never change, do you, Elise? Oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. should write back to her. And to mom and dad, for that matter. Misty here, filling your speakers with wit and charm once again. I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Aubin time. around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, <sighs> is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? do as bad as I was afraid I would. I can't believe Emma and Machias tied for the top score. Congrats, Machias. You always put up some impressive numbers. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone- Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Eusis. You must have really buckled down on your studies too, Reen. Landing in the top ten like that? Well, you all helped me out a lot. And you know what they say about a rising tide lifting all boats. I feel a bit left out. <laughs> you did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. If you can build on that in the next exam, I have no doubts you'll be able to score even higher. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> You talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys! 
I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Hip hip hooray. How humiliating! How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? And Elisa, thinking she could hide our roots that easily. all the overachievers. Congrats on your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh, always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work, but where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he keeps telling me I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. <clears throat> anyway, is everyone ready to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? I'm fully prepared, Instructor. <laughs> I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. Ah, <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. Here we go again. This one looks different from the others. Hold on. You notice... Yeah. Color's different. Shape's different. Yet it seems similar somehow. The material. That's what's similar. Maybe... It, is something wrong? No. Here they go again. <laughs> well, doesn't this look like fun? One. What are they doing here? To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class One's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So, we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange, if you will. Class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately, and we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. E exchange Judging by that rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class One. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. Huh. <laughs> you little pieces of... Cool your jets! They're just trying to goad us into a fight. I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well, looks like I found today's entertainment. All right, change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes one and seven. The fight will be four on four with both arts and item use allowed. 
Reen, you'll be squad captain. So choose three of your classmates for your team. Roger that. Hold on. Our team consists of four men. I demand a fight equal to the challenge offered. Reconsider your team. And this time, choose men. Hmm. It sounds like the upper class students know that Laura really won't hold back. They probably realize she'd mop the floor with them. I guess I'll have to switch her out. Should have been among the ranks of class one to begin with. I would rather hope a son of House Alvarea would need no demonstration of the nobility's refined spirit and dignity. Choose again. <laughs> one would almost think you're trying to postpone the inevitable. It looks like fighting someone from another of the four great houses might be biting off more than he can chew. Looks that way. It makes me wonder who they won't conjure up some excuse for. Looks like you're all set then. Both teams, take your starting positions. <laughs> he may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club after all. <laughs> We'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. We'll now begin the training bout between our representatives from classes one and seven. Combatants, weapons at the ready. show you what real nobility is. Here we go. Turn. Go. Second form. Damn. 
How could I lose? That's that. Let's keep moving. Enough! The winning team is... Class 7! The victory is ours. Yeah! We showed them! Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> that was some fight. We won! We really won! How does it taste choking down your own hubris? <laughs> this can't be happening. How could we lose to this... this rabble? <sighs> hey, that was a good fight. Pretty intense, too. You had us on the defensive more than a few times. If we get another chance sometime, how... Get your filthy hands off me! Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reem Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. <laughs> you son of a... Uh, th that was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think... Scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society. What have you, Reinhardt? A family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need. And what of the Barbarian and your Jaeger tots? I'm surprised they could even read the enrollment forms. What the hell? I won't deny how the Reinhardt Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger tot? What terrible things to say. Patrick, I think you might have crossed the line. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe you can clear things up. What is it about nobles that makes them superior to those who aren't? <sighs> Gaius? I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system. So the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really, I mean no offense by asking. But I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. <sighs> superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of the common earth could never hope to possess. We represent the pinnacle of man's achievement. That is what makes us nobles. Mm, I see. I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Yusus carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off saying the kinds of things you did? Well, I... Gaius. Hmm. Patrick, I... I... I really think you should... <laughs> Gaius raises an excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to the members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference, self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. That goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Yes, Instructor! P please excuse us. 
I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full, shameful play-by-play, -play, of course. But I want you to really think about where you need to improve. <sighs> Very well. Excuse us. Patrick! W -w Wait for us! Oh, for a while there, I was worried that was really gonna get ugly. As far as I'm concerned, it already had. This is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, Gaius. That meant a lot to me. Hmm? Not sure why you're thanking me, but whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Okay, that concludes this month's practical exam. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes, it had almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? Everyone, take one of these. Hmm. Brionia Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of La Mer province, known for its ruins. However... The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruwer on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it... You're from the North Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? Sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Your rank's gone up! Here's a little something from the Academy. Thank you for everything! Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracos. Indeed. The Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lion. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway, I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. Mm. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. Well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. 
Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. Took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So, since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. Make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. 